This short example will show how to use the pink Axie GPIO class to carry out bit level operations on Axie GPIO pins. The hardware design I will use is the same as the previous example. This time I'll focus on the Axie GPIO IP. I'll start by using the pink overlay class to download the overlay. Remember that we saw a pink Axie GPIO object was automatically created for this Axie GPIO IP. The IP is an Axie memory mapped IP and the provided API supports the same read and write functionality that we saw previously with the default IP. The pink Axie GPIO class extends the MMIO capability to provide bit level APIs for GPIO, which you'll see in the following example. I'm going to create an alias for the LED. With the pink Axie GPIO object, I can select the pin I want. In this case, the LED is connected to pin 2 on my interface. I can now use the on off methods to turn on and off the LED. I can extend this to a range of pins and create a combined object for my LED and buzzer. We saw the LED is on pin 2 and the buzzer is on pin 1. I select this range by specifying 1 to 3. In Python, we select one higher than the bit that we want. I can use the on off API again, and this time on will toggle all the bits in this object. That concludes this short example. We saw how to use the pink Axie GPIO class, which can be a more convenient abstraction when working at bit level with GPIO.